Brown, Microsymbio, coming and match you with a video for Microsymbiotics, and we have a little bit of this birch polypore here. Uh, this mushroom grows in deciduous forests on birch trees. It doesn't have really a preference on what type of birch it will grow on. It grows on all types of birch, and this mushroom will go a little bit further south than you'll find the chaga. The birch just unleashes loads of medicinal uh, properties out to the world in the form of fungus and the uh, bark and the syrup. Um, but we're focusing on the birch polypore today. Uh, this mushroom is a polypore mushroom. It has a bunch of pores on the bottom. Um, it has a sweet aroma, and this is attributed to the terpenes and triterpenes, which also contain some of the medicinal properties. Um, one of the terpenes, uh, polyperinic acid, actually is an anti-inflammatory, which uh, provides this mushroom with some of its anti-inflammatory properties. Um, this mushroom actually will concentrate the betulin and betulinic acid that's found in the bark of the birch tree which is in, uh, has anti-tumor properties, is very good for uh, people with melanoma. Um, and this mushroom also contains uh, compounds such as uh, piptamine, uh, which is a powerful antibiotic. So this mushroom is just a full spectrum medicinal mushroom. Um, we're gonna use it in our teas, we're gonna use it in our tinctures, and we can actually make a double extract if we make the tea first and then a tincture later. Um, if you want to uh, get the most medicinal benefits out of the mushroom, you're gonna wanna slice it while it's fresh and then dry it out in the sun. Uh, mushrooms contain uh, steroid alcohols. Just like animals and humans, we contain the cholesterol. The mushrooms are going to contain ergosterol. And uh, whenever you expose that to ultraviolet radiation from the sun, that ergosterol is going to convert into vitamin D2, which you can then extract uh, through the tinctures or the teas. Or if it's an edible mushroom like the shiitake, you can just eat it. Um, so yeah, we're going to uh, slice it for that. And a little bit uh, more surface area is going to allow us to draw out more of the medicinal compounds. Uh, so we're going to take this, about 8 ounces to a gallon of fresh spring water will make a very uh, concentrated medicinal tea. Uh, but we're just going to do a little tea to last us for the day. Uh, we're going to uh, cycle in about a half gallon of water. Uh, we're just going to make it small, small batches. We put a, about an ounce and a half in our tea. You want to come look at it over here. Uh, you're going to want to just simmer it on low. You don't, you're not going to want to get it too high to break down some of the medicinal components, but you're going to want to simmer it on low till it gets a little bit dark. Um, this tea's not going to get too dark, but once it gets a little bit dark and you can start to smell the aromas of the polypore mushroom, uh, then you're going to want to just take your tea. Uh, you can lightly sweeten it with a little bit of honey, uh, add a little bit of lemon if you're interested, and it'll uh, help to uh, absorb those medicinal compounds into your body with that vitamin C. Um, other than that, uh, the birch polypore is just a beautiful mushroom to have. It has this uh, beautiful brown color, uh, very, very uh, symbolic. Um, I feel as though it provides some sort of protection uh, etherically to our home. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, share on Facebook and Twitter and all your uh, favorite mushroom blogs, permaculture blogs. Um, other than that, it's been another microsymbio video. Propagate and we'll see you later.